In this section, we will learn how to access and configure the five fixed dashboards. We will then go on to an introduction of custom dashboards. Creation of custom dashboard will be covered within the Intuity User 2 course. Intuity has included dashboards for many years. There are five fixed dashboards that we are about to describe and up to a maximum of 50 custom dashboards. The status summary dashboard is a view-based status display showing three main groups of information, namely service status, device status and incident summary. The service status displays the total of services in each accessible view and the percentage of services with a status of up. The bar additionally shows the number of services that are up, in this case 4 out of 6, the number of services that are degraded, in this case 1 out of 6, and the number of services that are down, in this case 1 out of 6. Clicking the service percentage will display a service summary dashboard showing each service in the view and its current status. Device status is displayed in a similar way to service status. However, in this case, devices are grouped by device status, previously discussed in understanding object status. Again, device status detail can be obtained by running the device status report if access has been enabled by an administrator. The incident summary displays open incidents per view grouped by severity. There is also a total column, which if clicked will navigate to the events page with scope set to the appropriate view and with the all open display filter selected. An Intuity service allows an administrator to model some network service such as internet connectivity, a sales order processing system or email system. This is done by creating special service folders, which are populated with objects that make up the service. A logical rule is then associated with each service folder. This tells Intuity how to evaluate the status of each object in order to arrive at the status of the folder. It is possible to build quite a sophisticated model since service folders can be nested. The service summary dashboard displays a status icon for each top level service the user has access to. Services can be in one of four states, up, down, degraded or unknown. We look at services in detail on the Intuity Administrator 2 course. The dashboard allows drill down by clicking the desired icon until the impacting object is reached. Users can optionally view service ungrouped or from the user's preference page grouped by view. The top N summary dashboard ranks all managed ports by fault, traffic rate, utilisation and discards. This makes it surprisingly useful for spotting rogue ports. Inbound fault looks at data flowing into each port and expresses fault packets as a percentage of total inbound packets averaged over the previous hour but updated every five minutes. Outbound fault does the same for data flowing out of each port. Top listeners is looking at information flowing into each port. The ranking is based on an hourly average of traffic rate updated every five minutes. In the same way, top talker is calculated on outbound traffic rate. Inbound utilisation ranks ports based on the hourly average of used bandwidth. Note that this gives a subtly different result to top listeners, which tends to, relatively speaking, indicate larger streams of traffic, whereas utilisation tends to highlight links that may not be coping with the volume of traffic. Outbound utilisation does the same for traffic flowing in the other direction. Inbound discards ranks ports based on the percentage hourly average of dropped inbound packets due to device congestion. Every packet that flows into a port is placed into an input buffer. The device then pulls each packet off the buffer in turn and forwards it as required. If the device cannot process packets as fast as they are being received, the buffer will eventually overflow. Any packets that can't fit in the buffer are dropped and the discard counters incremented. The percentage is calculated by placing dropped packets over total packets. Outbound discards are calculated in a similar way, except in this case we are looking at packets flowing out of ports. For this reason, this metric is sometimes known as network congestion. The Device Metrics dashboard allows you to display four time series attributes per device. You can actually select as many devices as you like, 
but usually four or five are selected as you'll normally want the entire dashboard to fit on the screen. To configure the dashboard, press the Configure button. Select the four time series attributes required from the drop down menus and then enable the required devices. Hit the Submit button, which is right at the bottom of the page. Set the period for the charts as required, this defaults to 24 hours. In this introduction to custom dashboards, we will look at the view aspect first and we will look at the creation of dashboards in Intuity User 2. By default, each user can have up to 20 different dashboards and an administrator can increase this limit to 50 if required. The System Overview dashboard shown is a good example of what can be achieved. The top cell is displaying incidents from the My Network view. The two left-hand cells are displaying NetFlow conversation breakdowns and the two right-hand cells actually contain reports. These reports have been deliberately designed to be suitable for use in dashboards, being lightweight and small in size. In the centre, we have an example of an Intuity network map, and underneath this is a cell displaying the Intuity clock, which is mainly there to demonstrate that it is possible to launch any URL from in a dashboard cell. This might possibly be information from another tool.